Greetings. Welcome to dinner. And a painting, with Jeremiah Paulacek. What's the city you're from? Sarajevo. Sarajevo. Yeah, I was born there, but I, we moved a lot, so. So when did you move to the U.S.? How old were you then? Uh, I think I was 18. Yeah, okay. 18. I was like final. Uh, luckily, I I didn't have to repeat the uh, 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 my uh, senior year. Okay. So I kind of like. Apparently, they didn't know that I could speak English, so they put me with those like beginners and stuff. Okay. And it took me like basically three months to get out of the class. I was like. No, but I can speak English. I don't. We're not sure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So I ended up, yeah, I ended up like taking tests and you know going through the process because okay. we were we were refugees, you know. Yeah. And with the refugee status, you in America, you get less uh, years to, you know, to get a citizenship. It, it takes only three oh, okay. years if yeah, you have right. the, which is a really sweet thing, you know. Okay. Like when yeah. you're. I definitely paint over and then I regret it. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> and then <laughs> and then I try to repeat what I have done and then I mess it up again. Like uh, but yeah. it, you know it's it's like anything in life I think really. Like it's just you know, I think mechanics are the same way, you know, you think oh you're safe with you know, you go to a a shop and they repair your car mm -hmm. and you know two months later there's something similar going on you know and it's like yeah maybe they made a little mistake you know that's true yeah so that can happen with paintings i think that's one thing when you're sharing paintings now like do you share your paintings immediately after you do them like on facebook or something or yeah like i i, I post some yeah. stuff like i i, I was kind of opposed to it you know kind of uh sharing my like emotions and my babies uh, uh, with everyone mm -hmm. because uh, there's you know there, sometimes it'll be a sexual painting and I don't want to you know my aunt to see this so I, I, <laughs> like, I'll try to avoid this kind of you know embarrassment what I mean when you put it up and then like two months later yeah you see it Oh yeah, to the yeah, yeah. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you're like, you realize that it's actually it's not, not good. that good. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Like but that happens with love. everything. Yeah, yeah, that happens with everything. I think, uh, uh, I think you need fresh eyes constantly. Mm -hmm. So any input from other people is really quite good. You know, uh, like just in order for you to be more critical towards your work. You know. Did you ever have you feel like you had like some turning point or a painting where you felt like? I know what I'm doing. Uh, you know, like I did, I did. Uh, it happens, but like it happens kind of every five years or something. It takes mm -hmm. too long, you know, to have a like, you know, what what I can put here, like what what is, what is, um, symbolic to me, you know, what is what. You know, if you put something in, it needs to be something that you can relate to. It relates to your life or something, you know? Okay. So I see what you mean. So, uh, you know, like, you kind of look for these elements in your in your daily s sketching and, and observing people. And so you, you kind of just take it, take it in and then memorize it and repeat it constantly in order to, like, just see it. Uh, just to see it as a as a symbol of your existence. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm getting too ex no, it's ex fine. <laughs> existential well, you, here. You like, were doing, doing Washington. <laughs> yeah. Like, no. Well, that's basically why I'm like, I'm going like I'm going back to see my family in Washington. I live yeah. here, so yeah. And you're painting George Washington. Yeah. How many of these? It looked sculptural in some ways. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm actually uh, recently I was just checking out. Uh, uh, Houdon's uh, sculpture, the guy who did uh, Lafayette, Washington, you know, okay. these like uh, 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 sculptures of, of kind of American and uh, French royalty, really. Yeah. And uh, Voltaire and all this stuff. So I was just, I, I really, I think I, I was restoring this uh, sculpture of Washington when I was working. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and ended up. And I felt I fell in love with it. You know, it's. I mean, it was a copy. Like, let's face it, it was a copy of the sculpture. But, uh, but it was still, it was still kind of. It made an impression on me. I think. Yeah, I would like to do more of this. Uh, 
where were you restoring it? In, in DC, I was working for an antique shop for maybe okay. five, six years. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, was it five, six, or maybe maybe less, like four or five, something like this? But you'd get sculptures and stuff, and they would make you fix them, or yeah, 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 the, the, uh, furniture, furniture sculpture, painting, you know, frames. I was working for two guys there, and uh, you know, I would actually go um, ride around America and like deliver pieces, and right. it was a really quite uh, an interesting kind of. A perspective into an art world well let's say art it world is, it's though, more sure. like a antique world rather but it, it was still interesting I'm yeah I'm sure those two worlds kind of like overlap in ways yeah, yeah. I mean just in terms of finding buyers yeah exactly and, 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 and what people actually like and you know this what era of you know yeah, true. artistic expression they like you know this kind of stuff like the one lady that'll buy like everything that's like mid-century modern. Yeah, and they, exactly. And they, they get a new piece. I mean, and like, just I'm, like okay, we gotta. I've seen people, this you know, like collect shaker uh, furniture, and it's it's the price is incredible. I mean, yeah. it's like you yes, know, some price. things yeah. it goes for a hundred or half a million. And I'm just you know puzzled by it, you know. But then paintings get. You know, that's paintings become part of that world too. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Antiques definitely as like. Well. I know that, uh, you know, when I was working for this guy, I've seen paintings of, for example, there's a huge market for uh, freed slaves in America, or, you know, uh, uh, slaves that are represented as human beings and stuff like this. There's a, like a 12-year-old slave, that's a whole, I, we actually had it in the shop. We yeah. had the painting of the guy in the shop. Wow. And I didn't even know about the story until I saw the movie. I was just like, hold on a second. I know this guy. I've seen this guy somewhere, and then I like I went back, and I'm like, this is the guy. So there's there was only a painting two. Of yeah, him. there's two paintings of in America of this guy. Really? Who, by the way, I think opened up a church in Philadelphia or something like this. He was quite like when okay. he got freed from you know the South, he en ended up like really living his life and telling his story. Yeah. I think the painting Do you know his was. Name? Do you remember uh, his name? I can't think of it. I can research. I can send yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's it, and stuff. You know, like you learn a lot of, you know, small details. Like research about paintings, for example, in the antique world is incredibly important mm. because you know you might get something for two thousand and right. it ends up being you know a hundred thousand. You know, like yeah. in the end, because you know who who can value it, who can put it in a museum, who can you know this whole, this whole thing is. There's the Picasso that. That guy from Las Vegas, he was like not Donald Trump, the guy who makes casinos who's not yeah, Donald yeah, yeah, Trump. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he bought the dream by Picasso, Picasso the yeah. one where the head's like sideways. Yeah. And there's that. Um, then he ended oh, up yeah. putting his elbow through it. Oh, dude. <laughs> so, like, out of all these, like, art How? restoration like, stories. Was he? He was yeah, wrestling exactly. with someone. Like, what, I mean, yeah, what, that's what, what I thought that? as well. Like, how can like, you fuck up and like too many hookers in your yeah, loft? exactly. I don't understand. Like, <laughs> so it's probably intentional. You know, some egomaniac. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like exactly. he wants to be part of the provenance of the painting, and he's just like elbows it. You know, like who's the guy? Like I, I heard about this guy. Uh, what's the guy who did uh, the song Donkey Shin? Oh, uh, it's not Paul Anka. It was another guy. He's okay. also like a Vegas act. Might but, as well be. Yeah, like Paul Anka. I mean, he had he had some like Van Gogh in his like living room. I'm like wow. Oh, okay. That's, <laughs> <laughs> it's bizarre, and you don't expect these people to actually appreciate this this art, but they do. You know, it's yeah. it's it's amazing, like how taste can transfer mm. somehow. You know, like you know, we think of ourselves as like some artistic snobs or something, but like yeah. you know, you you'll find some odd, you know, Jim Carrey paints. You know, yeah, <laughs> I've shit. seen his like, paintings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maurizio Catalan was like hanging out with him, you know, which kind of mm. makes sense. Uh, they're both hilarious motherfuckers, you know. Yeah. His paintings are. Yeah, it's yeah. Compared to Macaulay Culkin, have you seen his paintings? No. His aren't bad. <laughs> really? Yeah, they're okay. He's got some okay ones. He's got a couple of like bands playing at um. Uh, they look like kind of sparsely populated concert venues and uh -huh, then like spider-man uh -huh. and he-man will be in a uh -huh. in a band 
playing the okay. music. Nice. They're not terrible. And he has yeah. another one where the bar is on fire. And it's just a bunch of oh, people drinking and out. the bar is on fire. Wow. I mean, they're kind of like art brute, naive looking, but... Uh, oh, it's okay. I mean, I, cool, I, like, I am down with uneducated, uh, you know, whatever they call it, like uh, outsiders. outsider. Yeah. Uh, it, I like it, you know. It, yeah. it can draw you in, for sure. You know, I don't know. Like, I mean, I, you know, Cattle God, Cattle God paints. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah, I mean, you know. Those yeah. paintings, that's like 80s on crack. I don't know what he's thinking there. but That's true? Yeah. But yeah. he's still got a, you know, he had to I pick mean, he's a style. A, yeah, <laughs> I mean, he definitely has a sti Liberace yeah. style or something. I don't even know how you call it. Now Miley Cyrus is making these sculptures of stuff that people throw at, throw at her. Wow. The, during her shows. All mm. the plastic stuff that she gets thrown at her, she makes into sculptures. Wow. They're not awful either. Like, really? They're not terrible. I would yeah. throw definitely I mean, a skateboard at her head. <laughs> that would be really a nice touch. This is the, Use this, girl. You could probably Can sell it for some money. <laughs> the skateboard sculpture. Yeah, exactly. There's a I mean, Warhol that somebody supposedly shot <laughs> as well. Really? Yeah. Wow. I saw that a lot of the biggest collectors in the world are actually Georgian. Really? Yeah. Or is it because of the like oil reserves or some shit like this that they have? Like I know Azerbaijan and like Baku and all these people that on yeah. Caspian Sea they have the... Just crazy amounts. Yeah. Because yeah. I saw an interview with a, a woman who was a buyer for these, uh, for these Georgian collectors and she was saying that uh, these, these people buying don't even care if people know they have it. Yeah. It's not, they don't even want yeah, it public. Yeah, yeah. Which is kind of strange. Yeah. Because you know what I mean? Like, if you're an oil yeah. billionaire mm -hmm. and you buy a painting, you would think that it might be a good idea to, like, no, like, you know what I mean? Like, this is my Bentley, yeah. this is my, yeah, well, my Picasso, you know, like, I, you know, like, I think th but there's don't think definitely, like that, yeah. which is strange. Yeah, I mean, they think of money as completely different, you know, there's a whole bracket of these people that, you know, think of it as a, as a joke, <laughs> you know, like, yeah. you know what I mean, like, look at the suffering artist, let me throw a, a couple of bucks at him, you know, and this kind of thing, like. I suppose if somebody came to their house, they would show them the, the of irises. Course, of course, of uh, course, it's a conversation like... piece, man, yeah, yeah. I mean, Basquiat, if you look at Basquiat, yeah, right. technically sure are... the paintings are not amazing, but it's mm -hmm. it's the life of him, you know, it's yeah. the Caribbean kind of, in New York, and you know, married this Madonna. progress. Or not married, but he dated Madonna. Yeah, exactly, I mean, yeah. I mean, and also, what does that say about Madonna, you know, like, I mean, mm -hmm. she's, meanwhile, she's doing this, like, pop, which is for teenagers, and, yeah. and she's hanging out with someone who's extremely uh, yeah. profound in his taste, you know? Uh, so. And he died really young, too. I think he was like 26 or 27 when he died. Yeah, 27, I think. Yeah, Tw yeah some of this. Yeah, he was crazy on yeah. all those guys. The one yeah. I look back on it now is like Jim Morrison was like 26. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's, what? That, yeah, there's so. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean but you, you watch even like The Doors, the movie, mm -hmm. and you see Val Kilmer playing him, and you're like, okay, so he's 40 now when he's an alcoholic yeah. in the end. But yeah, he was like no, 25. No, he's then. Yeah, like, man. Okay. Too fast. I mean, he went to my high school. The high school that I actually went, like, the really? my. Yeah. yeah. I was like, what? <laughs> Apparently he lived in Arlington, like you know, outside of DC. Like, yeah, uh, yeah. Like, I was, uh, what? And then he was like, uh, his father was in the army or something like this, and then they moved out to, you know, to the west. I mean, he moved out to the west. Okay. Wow, it's bizarre. Uh, wow, that's strange. Mm -hmm. He's, uh, yeah. He went to the same high school as Jim Morrison. And Sandra Bullock, <laughs> which is bizarre, bizarre. So Sandra Bullock needs to play Jim Morrison. <laughs> Maybe that would be a very good switcher. I mean, I've seen. Yeah, have you seen the Bob Dylan thing where like uh, Kate Blanchett is doing Dylan? No. Oh, that's what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's something. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's not. This know. is real. Kate Blanchett. Yeah, is, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, Bob Dylan? that girl can act, man. That girl can like rock and roll. What? I'm telling you. Check it out. It's bizarre. Some of your stuff, like, 
seems kind of funny. Yeah, I, I'm you know a what funny I mean? guy. Like, what do you think about um, <laughs> like humor in art? Oh, I love it, man. I, it's, yeah, Amarita Catalan is the, the, the bomb. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know this person. Uh, yeah, check him out. He's he's an Italian guy who's just hilarious. You know, I, I, there's a couple of people here in Czech Republic that are on the same level of... You know, I don't like the gimmickism and like slapstick humor. In yeah, it. Yeah. I like the humor that's like it makes you think. It makes you kind of like go, oh, that's that's a pretty nice way of seeing things. You know, yeah, because yeah. It, it really is. If you see the laughter in something, it's really quite nice. You know, and if you can communicate that, that's also very good. I mean, sometimes I fail miserably, but you know, sometimes I I, I actually uh, I think I'm funny. You know, <laughs> it's just it's just nice. <laughs> Because, yeah, you have, like, serious, pretty serious paintings. Yeah. Somewhat serious yeah, 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 yeah. or kind of serious. Yeah. But then there's always, like, this air of, like, eh, yeah. fuck it, <laughs> yeah, fuck it doesn't it. matter, yeah. you know? Like... No, I don't think, I, you know, you shouldn't take yourself too seriously. Like, even if you're, like, a superstar fucking artist, let's say, you know, Jama or something like this, you know, you're selling in New York, blah, blah, blah. You still got to be funny, I think. You know? <laughs> I mean... There's some pretty serious... I mean, there's that... I um, can't remember his last name. Nicola. His first name's Nicola. He's an uh -huh. Italian uh -huh. painter. Uh -huh. And he makes he makes these copies of, uh, like, master paintings, like El Greco and stuff like this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he does oh, really I beautiful think, master copies. I think, yeah, I think I've seen... And then he, like... It's like, scratches their face yeah, up. fucks it up, yeah. Basically, yeah. yeah. But he seems like a really serious dude. I watched a couple of his videos. Really? And it was just, like... Wow, he takes Man, himself. It's all in weird. Italian, so I have no idea what uh -huh, he's saying. But uh -huh. it's kind of like, okay, you're, you, there's one he just like, is this portrait on the wall, uh -huh. and he builds up layers like yeah, yeah, this the, thick. Yeah, the depth in and the then painting he just, is like, really quite good. Rips out yeah. like this person's face, just like, yeah, yeah, just like scrapes it out, almost melting it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's. I mean, like, but that comes from like inner angst or something, you know. Like, I don't have mm -hmm. that much angst, you know. Like, yeah. even though like I. I don't think, uh, you know, I, I should be angry more. Like, I used to be much more angrier dude, but yeah. now I'm like, I, you know, like, I, I, there's plenty of people who are angry out there, man. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't yeah. need to bring more to this kind of, like, oh, everything sucks attitude. <laughs> you know? Like, like I, yeah. I mean, I can, t I can really tell some, like, fucked up stories for sure through painting. Or, or a comic book or illustration, yeah. you know, but I kind of refuse to do it just to, I don't know, I don't want to bring anyone down, <laughs> like, really, like, like, because everyone's yeah. got their own shit going on, you know, like, everyone has their own struggles and stuff, so. There's a good Chuck, Chuck Close quote, which is, um, I try to act like my art has nothing to do about me. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, I mean, I don't do that, I, I kind of do tell tiny stories about myself mm -hmm. but I don't uh, I don't think I should burden anyone with you know like you know my refugee past or you know this mm -hmm. like complete you know si situation of like you know like Syria or yeah, yeah. you know this I mean it's really you know it's overwhelming man like when you right. think about you know I mean you can do pieces for the rest of your life about you know the exploitation uh, you know I mean there's a whole series that I did on just abuse of power yeah. you know uh, it's so you had all those propaganda paintings too I had the propaganda paintings because I was obsessed with graphic propaganda because it I mean there's a a hundred year old tradition of it maybe yeah. even more you That's know true. you know even from Gutenberg uh, you know that's also a, a specific German propaganda you know it's 15th yeah. century man. Sure. Like, you know, so. and when they would you know that's freedom of the press literally meant own, being able to own a press yeah, exactly. because like if you were an anarchist or a yeah, exactly. communist they would come and actually destroy your, yeah, destroy your, press. your shit I mean Benjamin yeah, Franklin, for example, you know what I mean, like standing up to the British, you know, it's, it's, I mean, there's yeah, so exactly. many, so many examples of this. So I kind of like used the Eastern, because I, I also feel like I'm Eastern European, so I used the Eastern European 
view on it mm. rather than German because Germans are really the 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 the, the uh, um, originators of this kind of language of visual language really through, I think I so know. through the posters okay. and through the radio you know okay. stuff like this before the World War Two it's like social realism yeah social realism you know we can do it together this kind of stuff people you know? carrying like yeah, bags of flour yeah, like you know this you know masses of you know that can protest and stuff like this so oh right I, because they like the propaganda yeah think? like propaganda is everywhere man like I come from you know Balkans where like every tiny shitty country is propagating their own history you know essentially yeah. we are the best and they suck you know whoever they are you know what's that they, I don't know how to say his name Gavrilo Princip Princip, or whatever. yeah, yeah, yeah he's from my stuff. he's from my town so really I'll tell you a story well yeah I said it was he got shot. <laughs> so Do they so, have statues of him there? Uh, they used to have this kind of thing, but now they think of him as a terrorist, which is bizarre. Well, yeah, that's why but, I was uh, asking. Because yeah, I was in uh, Slatkovsky, and uh, you know the you know the Pan uh, Mravenets, uh, the guy from Plastic People of Universe. Yeah. Anyway, he's always at Slatkovsky. He's at like a kind of. Is he the one who plays violin? I think so. He has like long hair thought, and little kind of John Lennon yeah, glasses. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like white hair, like yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> he he goes, "Where are you from?" And I'm like, "From Sarajevo." Ah, oh, you are the one who killed our Franz Ferdinand. I was like, "I didn't kill anyone, man." Like, <laughs> like I, I'm a, a pacifist. I don't like. I don't do shit. It's like what? <laughs> he accused me. I was like. Listen, man, if, 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 if it was up to me, man, like, Austria can own Bosnia anytime, man, like, what, like, I don't care, like, you think I would say no, you know, like, I don't care, like, but he, it, it's immediately he accused me, I was just like, no, man, like, I don't care, like, it wasn't me, I swear. <laughs> there's like, I mean, there's the whole, is that sandwich thing real? Have you heard this, the sandwich that he tried to kill Ferdinand, but he was unsuccessful? And then he stopped to get a sandwich, and then his motorcade stopped while he was getting a sandwich. Yeah, I mean, the whole the whole thing was ridiculous because they threw a bomb at him. But it inside missed or something. Yeah, it, it didn't detonate. It didn't okay. explode. Yeah. And then, <laughs> and then he went, no, I'm gonna make another circle around the town <laughs> because <laughs> I mean yeah. it's ridiculous, you know, like you know that people are out to get you, and then you're like, yeah, I think I think I'll do another. And then they killed his wife, who had right. a child, you know, and that's, I mean, it's quite fucked up. Man. But he, he is, he is the... Shot? It was he like, was shot, he was shot on, yeah. on the corner. In okay. Sutter, yeah, like, they have a museum on that corner about the... the but under, like, under communism, would Princip be seen as, like, a liberator or He a was terrorist? a liberator, he was a liberator. Yeah. Because I thought I remember hearing there were statues made to him. Yeah, and now because because there's a whole different perspective on this, they see him as a as a terrorist because yeah. he was you know supported by the Serbian side you know and they they were very pro Yugoslavia in that in that way. Okay. So I ended up yeah it, I mean history is a funny thing if you if you write it yourself <laughs> you know what I mean like. <laughs> yeah. So we, I mean, in these propaganda paintings, like, what were the subjects of your propaganda paintings? Uh, there well, was like four or five, I remember, that I saw uh -huh. at least in that uh, show. Yeah, the, it, it's actually uh, the series that I started with. It was the sterile environment of American landscape. Uh huh. Okay. So and were, I was like, doing like yeah, yeah, style. well, yeah, exactly. But this was like the the, the end result, kind of like <laughs> this was of a, a mix. Yeah, okay. essentially, I start, I was painting a lot of gas stations, mm -hmm. and I was obsessed with like this kind of sterile uh, visual cues, you know. Yeah. In in America, minimal, so minimal kind yeah, of. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'll send you. I, I think they're on my website. Some of the gas stations, and uh, in the end, I was, I I realized that there's a whole. Uh, American lifestyle propaganda and then they ended up do doing these like kind of big billboards uh -huh. okay. billboards of this kind of like you know happy shiny people right. stuff like this the 1950s yeah like, buy a new but I made it I made it more dark and kind of like in the past you know yeah no that's I can see that now 
I yeah. didn't even actually yeah, see like, it before. I, I, I should have explained this in the brochure. No, because the, it's, uh, but brochure, it's the same yeah. thing, though. Yeah, it's, it's a, like, yeah. I was it's thinking a, of the picture in the classroom. Uh huh. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Like these yeah. type of portraits. Yeah, exactly. Like where the, the weird communist local. Yeah, no, I mean, it, you know, it's whatever. a combination of the two. Yeah, for sure. Oh, it's, okay. No, yeah. that's becoming like, how could I not see that before? No, but like, that's the thing. Like, I did. I was, you know, like I was talking to Laura, uh, Franco's girlfriend, yeah. and, and she was like, well, yeah, but there's not a lot of stuff there, like, you should, you could do more on this, and I'm like, no, I think there's just enough, I don't want to push it too far, but I don't think she got it, I don't yeah. think she saw my work from before, yeah. so I was like, maybe, like, it's okay if she doesn't see it, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, but having more stuff, like some guy... <laughs> like chopping down wheat in a field here or what do you mean by more stuff or yeah no, I, my, stuff yeah because... like no but she felt like it was too boring because she knows some stuff that i've done with franco you know it's more like elaborate and like okay. i do stuff you know. actually more stuff in the painting though is yeah yeah mean. yeah yeah like actual more things yeah yeah and more things in the, in the thing mm -hmm. she thought it was too dry i was like well it, i think that's they the are point. pretty cold yeah <laughs> yeah that's true they are but they're funny. They're like funny cold. There's that Luke Toymans. I was uh, talking to Eduardo about. Do you know him? Luke Toymans. Yeah, of course. Belgian. Yeah, I mean, he's yeah. amazing. Yeah, he's amazing. He's got that one of a soldier. I saw. Um, yeah, I mean, like, I. I it's just think... a soldier portrait. Yeah. And I got my my painting instructor thought I was like kind of a. I don't know. Looking back, I don't know what he thought. <laughs> But I came from the Lime Academy, like this academic painting, and it was very controlled and all this sort of stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, and he it's... was like the opposite in Chicago. This guy was just like, and he's told me, luckily, you know, I was, you know, studying connected to the Art Institute of Chicago. So he was like, go to the museum, go look at some paintings. Like, you're not going to learn anything here. You can keep painting here, but you're not yeah. going to learn anything. Yeah. Just yeah, like, exactly. go to the museum. That's true. And like, because I was still like kind of academically just chopping stuff in and yeah. like okay I have six hours because we had six hour studios so like I have six hours to be here I'll start with this I'll go to this uh -huh. but there was a Luke Toyman's uh, soldier painting and I was just like man like he actually told me the right thing to do like to go because I found this little tiny Toyman's like eight by ten it's uh -huh. just of a soldier but he looks so he looks like 18 uh -huh, you know uh -huh. what I mean? Like, like he doesn't look too soldier. young, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like he looks like he's like 15, really. I mean, you can tell it's kind of child soldier looking, yeah. but that's like the terrifying thing, like Toyman's is trying to display. Of course, of course. Just in this totally subtle yeah, way. Yeah, th that's what I like about his work. It's really quite subtle, and you don't really you think you're looking at some sort of Polaroid of a, you know, like, yeah. of a, you know, airplane shot or whatever, right. like, you yeah, know, yeah. like, air, like, oh, we're here in the, in, the, in the plane or something, but it's really quite good, I think. And they're supposed to be kind of, like, inconsequential, small yeah. things. Yeah, 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 But that's what makes them kind of terrifying. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's <laughs> a, a whole genre of this kind of stuff, like, it's everything from uh, Gerhard Richter and Mm -hmm. You know, like all the stuff is really quite, you know, like painting his uncle, Nazi uncle. <laughs> so, so, right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, you don't. And when you're painting with Franco, I'm like, how do you do that? Like, well, with him, it's just like, it's fucking jazz and, and it's really fun. Because he's, you know, like, I actually contacted, contacted him. Yeah. You know, because I, you know, I was like, oh, I'm gonna come to Prague. Are you in Prague? Blah, blah blah. I really, I saw his work somewhere in a, you know, some shop or something like this. Oh, yeah? yeah. And I was like, fuck, man, I like, I really love it. I don't know if he's French or Italian, but it's extremely either French or Italian. Mm -hmm. So I was, like, yeah, you know, and then I, you know, I started hanging out with him. He, he actually originally thought I was, a, it was a girl contacting him you know it's Franco man it's <laughs> Italian soul you know like oh fuck it, this beautiful girl is gonna call me like no it was me <laughs> some Bosnian yeah, shit. yeah exactly exactly I remember him being disappointed at meeting nah. him. Like, <laughs> really? yeah, no, was like, he was like oh okay <laughs> I was like, and then we talked about painting and then started That's hanging funny. out yeah 
Because he was painting Lavni Nadraji, I think, or something Yeah, like he, was, he was doing some stuff at Lavni Nadraji, and uh, he had a show here. But yeah, the, uh, he's such a uh, interesting guy. Like I, it's, it's really uh, like I, we always work. I, there's no uh, borders, you know, when I'm working with him. It's like anything can happen, you know. It's really quite jazzy, and you know, like I'll do a solo and he does a solo, and like yeah. we kind of mix it together. It's really quite good. Cause you did those boxes, right? Oh yeah, you guys worked we on those that, boxes yeah. together. Yeah, that was mostly because we have a. A friend who opened up a porn shop, mm -hmm. and we thought, what a beautiful space! We're gonna do something really perverted and okay. You know, Where was the shop? In this Prague? was in in Italy, in Italy. Okay. And we went there. We actually did a project for the same guy, painting this. Uh, um, um, what is it called? Uh, the fireplace. And this mantle. It was a, mantle. Yeah. Mantle. Yeah, yeah. Mantelpiece, and it was really quite fun because it. It, we were trying to tell a story of this guy okay. and the history uh, of him and, and Franco. So he ended up but being quite good guy? and he loved it actually. Huh? This is the porn guy? This is the porn guy. You had to make so, a mantelpiece? Yeah, it was. A, yeah, well, it, you, when you say mantelpiece, that sounds more dirty. No, it was just kind of like a fireplace and it, it was above the, the fire. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. So, but it's yeah. a painting. It, it was a mural. It was a mural, okay. and then we kind of like jazzed it up there. And so. what was it of? And it was really just kind of the story of, you know, his life, of this porn guy's life. And it was really quite fun, you know. And from that, we, we were like, well, we, we could do these boxes that look like books, dirty books. And yeah. you can store stuff inside. And yeah, and yeah. essentially, yeah, like it, it progressed to, that, to this. Wow. But uh, uh, at the time, I was really into this kind of medieval style. So we end, I ended up like pushing medieval stuff on on the covers, and he went with it, and it, it turned out to be yeah fun. Those are good. No, yeah, I like them. Yeah, They're really fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Again, like, and really I, I wanted humorous. to do more, but it was a little bit time Did you consuming. The mural. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we got paid for it, and yeah. Did you get pictures of that thing. I think man. there's a video somewhere, man. Like, but wow. it's really, yeah, it's really fun. <laughs> Is there a part in the mural where, like, he starts make shooting porn? <laughs> like, no, he didn't. He didn't like... go that far. I mean, it was just kind of like the history of because he's a kind of a playboy, yeah. like an Italian playboy that looks uh, like uh, Marcello Mastroianni. <laughs> I mean, I'm not making this up. Really, really, like, good-looking dude. <laughs> You know, has quite a mon quite some, you know, like some money. Yeah. And you know, like when they were teenagers in Italy, they were driving, you know, Porsches and like, I mean, they had an accident in a car, like flipping over and shit. I mean, it was incredible stuff. And we kind of tried to put that on the mural, and I think he loved it. You know. Okay, so you yeah. did put have those elements though in there, kind yeah, of like these spectacular things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's really fun. Like it's he took me to, to. It's not a canvas. It's actually it's on, on the it's, wall. It's actually on the wall, and, and okay. I think it's still there. Like it's really, it's really fun stuff. Like it, yeah. So like uh, this year, I think Franco is teaching in Switzerland, and I would love to participate yeah. somehow. But we'll see. Like you know, like doing anything with Franco is like you know, it's gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. But it. We'll see, yeah. you know. Yeah, but it's always way, fun. It's, yeah, no, but it's always fun, you know. <laughs> yeah. You always do something really that you're kind of proud of, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's good. I mean, we did this uh, uh, thing in his uh, apartment. It was a cave painting. Yeah, did, right. I mean, we had some yeah. candles there, and I, I was like, "Wow, I feel like a ca like a caveman here. Like, what's mm -hmm. going on?" Yeah. And then we ended up painting this thing on the wall. It was it yeah, just it was went nice. off. You know, yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> giraffes, and whatever, like pterodactyls. Like it looked nice <laughs> though. I remember that because the the texture of the wall was uh, like the paint was yeah, really exactly. old the in paint, that place. The paint was and almost like a cave, so it, it worked in, in that way. But yeah. But then there was like the little light socket. <laughs> yeah, the, the, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that it wasn't exactly. actually a cave wall. Like, <laughs> exactly. Symbolic. Uh, <laughs> turn on the light. Like we're not living in caves. That's good. What about um, 
what are your feelings on like when you exhibit work when you finally put it up oh man ex like, exhibition is, exhibitions in general are just you know, you know it's a nightmare for me like literally a nightmare I would love to have a manager who can actually tell me like do this and shut the fuck up you know <laughs> like yeah. no complaints just do this you know? Bring your paintings. If I have to do it, if I have to, uh, you know, do a catalog, describe my work, oh, that's just, you know, this is easy because yeah. I, I can talk like this. This is normal bar, you know, yeah, yeah. bar talk. But that's what it's supposed to be. But if I have to do it officially as as I'm, like, I, I have to pretend that I'm some sort of businessman, that kills me, you know. Mm. Yeah. You mean in the sense that when you talk to people that might be interested in buying something? Yeah, exactly. It's just kind of like, I don't know how to persuade you to buy this because <laughs> this is my baby. You know what I mean? Like, this is yeah. this is something, this is a part of me that I don't even know if I want to give it to you. Cause really? I don't, you okay, know what I mean? So you're protective of paintings. I'm not a, at all. Like, I'm just bit. like, sell them, get rid of them. Yeah. Like, I wish I was that way. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like a used car dealer of paintings. <laughs> That's basically, good. I'm just That's like, good. get rid of it. Can we good. get twenty percent off. Man, yeah, sell mine stuff. All right, ten percent off. <laughs> Come steal my stuff, man. <laughs> no, I don't. I want to get rid of stuff. They take over. I mean, mm -hmm. they take over your space. But yeah. when you do, you have certain paintings that you want to keep. Definitely, like, definitely. Like forever. Certain breakthroughs that I like. You know, you do something and you you realize, fuck, this is saying much more about me than anything else. Yeah. You know, I did this piece uh, for my diploma here for my master's, yeah. which was really a piece of me. It was these, I made maybe, I don't know, 50 skulls that okay. are, you know, how the, <clears throat> how streets in Prague are actually just made of uh, cobblestones. Yeah. So I would replace the cobblestones with these skulls that are made of clay nice. and you can step on them and stuff okay. like this. Right, and it was sculpture, yeah. yeah and I was I you know it's it's really about Sarajevo and like what happened in the war and like you know how the past kind of gets covered up mm. you know you step on it you don't really realize what's what happened there you know mm. for example with Carlo Princip and Franz Ferdinand you know that you yeah. don't really know until you really pay attention you're like oh fuck something happened here yeah. like it'd be a corner of a street you know and yeah stuff right. like this it, like Staromak, if you go to the old town, sure. you know, like un, like if you really pay attention, you'll see those crosses, and that's where they were executed. These these people, yeah. you know, right. you don't yeah, really right. realize that until you actually pay attention, or someone tells you, or you know, visual cues, and, you know. Jeez, and that, so that, that was a part of me that I don't I don't know if I could sell it. Like why would, you know what I mean? how would I sell it? And yeah. it's, it's more about destruction and like this kind of stuff. I mean, you know? when you think about the process of making those skulls, then yeah, exactly. Like yeah, like but you're making them like a factory kind of. Yeah, thing. exactly, You've exactly. Got to make duplicates exactly. of duplicates. one thing. Same, same thing, same thing. So yeah. it becomes kind of a methodical yeah, yeah process. Is that how you work generally? Like where you get an idea and you no. just kind of bang it out? Yeah, I just bang it out. Really, like if I have an idea, I, I really try to finish it as much as I can. You know, like, time is always an issue, man. Time and money. Yeah. I never get enough. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Do you I'm have, sorry, if you could um, own any painting, uh -huh. any painting in the world, but you have to live with it in your house. Oh, for sure. <laughs> what painting, do you have a painting that you'd want? That's a tough question, man. Wow. Or a painting that really stood out to you as something that... I mean, you could obviously go for the easy realm and be like, yeah, I'll yeah. buy a painting that's worth $300 million. Yeah, I yeah, can yeah. sell it. But besides that, some painting that was like really... That's a tough question, man. Wow. I would go with... Uh, It's probably one of the Van Dykes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's Saint Jerome or something like this. And he's like covered with this red cloth. I, th I always okay. thought that was such a brilliant painting. He's a prince of painters, man. Like he's yeah. definitely, technically, it's just 
you put that painting anywhere, anywhere, it could be in the bathroom, it's fucking <laughs> blowing you away. So I know but what to expect. So many. Yeah, there's so many, man. Like, I mean, you can go from Picasso's portraits, self-portraits, to David Hockney's Big Splash, to, you know, there's too many of them that can be, like, I mean, that's, I mean, can I have a museum? Is that like, is that like, hypothetically you get one? <laughs> one. You get one. <laughs> no, you get one painting in the world. Mm, that's really tough. That's really, really tough. Pick up a Velasquez. El Greco, Velasquez, like the whole Spanish shit. Like, yeah. it's, I mean, mind blowing stuff, you know? I mean, one Basquiat would be fantastic, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like, I mean, I heard that, uh, what's his face? Jay Z bought a Basquiat. Yeah. It's one of the Empire ones, yeah. I think they're both, or yeah, him and Kanye are both. Kanye is actually uh, surprisingly versatile motherfucker. Yeah. Like, he's yeah. got George Kondo, he's got like all kinds of, I was like, wow. Oh yeah? Yeah, he knows shit, man. Like I was, as much as I don't like the dude. Like, yeah, I can <laughs> like, imagine. Yeah. Like, I know he, he hired a painter. I can't remember where I heard it. I think it's Kanye. Mm -hmm. And he just like made this guy's entire life. It was just like I'll give you 120 grand a year. Just yeah. keep making paintings for me. Yeah, man. And you know, he's got it too. The the train was nice too growing up because I would only see I'd see graffiti on the train. Yeah. But otherwise, there was no there was no graffiti. Yeah, 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 yeah. That stuff would just you know the stuff from the city no, just kind of come know, through the town. No, what's a fascinating for, thing also about childhood? You you don't really. You don't consider your surroundings to be weird. I know. Because you kind yeah. of just grow up there. That, right. I mean, you know, like, I remember coming to States and this guy who was, you know, like, really kind of into skiing. He's like, he's looking at some photos of mine from back home. Yeah. And we had the Olympics, like, Winter Olympics in Sarajevo. Mm. And he's oh, like, right. look at yeah. these fucking mountains. That's so great. That's so amazing. I was like, yeah, it is. I, I, I didn't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I had no clue. Like, what? Yeah. I thought it was normal, you know, like, it's strange stuff, like... And now all that stuff is, like, de deteriorating. Yeah, yeah, everything. Like, the <laughs> entire apart, Olympic uh, park oh, is, yeah. like, no, this it's, apocalyptic it's, wasteland Yeah, now, exactly. Basically. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, human hand can do some fucked up shit, man. There's a bunch of, like, brutalist architecture as well from the... Uh, oh, yeah, 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 it's really quite area, good. I never appreciated that shit until maybe like five years ago. I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess that's good. It's really progressive in that kind of aesthetic sense. You yeah. Know? But it's kind of methodical and oh, yeah, totalitarian yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, at the same time. I mean, it's Zhizhkov Tower, man. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like the whole era of like, we can do it. Get her done. We, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Get her done. <laughs> Get her done politics. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's the Texan who came to yeah. Czechoslovakia. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's get her done, boys. You don't have anything to eat? Well, I, we gotta finish this fucking tower, man. Like that's that's <laughs> the priority number one. <laughs> We're going to space. That's it. Bosnia buddy just joined the Scottish Rite in DC, and I was like, uh -huh. what? Why? And he's like, no, it's just like fun. I was like, is it? Yeah. I don't know. Like, what? <laughs> And who would have a fucking Bosnian in there? You know what I mean? Like, what? <laughs> Why? Because you're Mormons. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, you guys are it's everywhere. So, it's so bizarre. The Scottish right? Yeah, yeah that's exactly. True. Like, what? Like, what? We know they used to have um, uh, Caravaggio was protected by the Knights of Malta. Oh yeah, yeah. I know this is. stuff. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah. insane. Yeah. Well, that's why it was so like. Fucking I mean, arrogant and shit. You yeah, know? that's why he got stabbed. <laughs> and he had a pension for stabbing people in the back, actually. Holy shit! Oh, that's some like fucked up shit. Ah. Oh. Oh. And uh, he was on the run. The last years of his life, he was. Um, he basically. Oh yeah, was he on the lam. To, to the island or something. Like yeah. yeah, and then he was like on the lam, basically like knowing that, and if he got caught, he would be, you know, he'd be beheaded. So that's when he made all those beheading paintings. Oh, okay. That's part of his nervous anxiety and sanity. Ah. 
But yeah, he was on the run, and like he thought the Pope would bail him out, basically, when he got back. But um, he, they, they caught him. I think he was back. He was pardoned. I think he was pardoned in another city, and he was on his way to the city. Franco would probably clarify. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. But um, he was on his way there, and these guys caught him, and he was like, no, 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 they pardoned me, everything's cool, and they are like, no. No, no, <laughs> it's not cool. <laughs> Your ass is grass, let's do this. And, yeah, that was it. His body was never found, but... I, you know, the, I, for some reason I thought it was an, a, like, accident. But it, I'm sure he was like an arrogant kind of guy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, no, and he thought sure. he had the fucking connections, but then in the end, like, yeah. not all connections can work out pan out honestly yeah. when he did it like it wasn't like one time you know what I mean like yeah, yeah, everybody yeah. can blow up at certain yeah, like, circumstances yeah like one time you, you like, like accidentally touch somebody's girlfriend yeah, and you're yeah. like whoa I didn't know you'd freak out and like choke yeah. that guy yeah, yeah, yeah. but like people but, do I mean, that there's, that's acceptable but Italians are really notorious about this shit especially like Bernini also like and his yeah. brother yeah like I didn't know. They, they had the hots for the same girl or something like it was like stabbing, stabbing time. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, supposedly Italy was like kind of cutthroat back. Yeah, in the day. yeah, yeah. Back in the day, there was really like it wasn't meant like a safe place yeah. to be at all. Did you have some big expectations built up in your head from seeing the U.S. in like film or pop culture or stuff like this before, and then you got there and? No, I kind of like it, I took it as it is, you know, because like I I understood that. I have to kind of fit in the society, you know, like, and then you just kind of take it as is. You don't really yeah. see the bad things in the beginning at all, you know, you kind of just, well, yeah, like, it's normal, okay, I have to work, yeah, let's go work, and, you know, that's, you take it, you take it as is, you know. Yeah. You don't really expect the, you know, New York skyline and, you know, like, Manhattan and stuff, like, you yeah. know, you just kind of like, yeah, okay, like, I'll do, you know, like, whatever, like, yo. Yeah, Work in a restaurant? Yeah, sure. Why not? Like, I don't understand. You <laughs> know, like, like okay. my my father was working for a newspaper back home, and then he's like, "Yeah, well, I need a, a job," and he started working in a restaurant. You know, like, and he was yeah. a cook. Pretty soon, he was a cook there, and like my mom started. Uh, she was a she was working in a post office back home, and she like she was doing a lot of like other stuff. Like, she worked in a hotel, and then you know stuff like this and then ended up like doing some data stuff and then ended up getting the post office job yeah it's just normal you know like it was but i don't know if it's everyone's experience like that because you know like you know it's a white family and then you know maybe maybe you know for someone from guatemala it's a little bit different it's sure. harder yeah. you know and so i understand that shit like it's completely i sympathize with everyone there man like i'm you know, and I have no beef with, you know, anyone there. You know what I mean? Like, I have no... Yeah. I never did. But only later when I realized what's going on in D.C., I was like, this is not right, man. Like, some of the stuff, I was like, I got this. Like, I, 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 I connected the shit. I was like, no, 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 this is not nice. You know, like, I would go... For example, like, a buddy of mine was, like, calling me... One day we were working in a restaurant or something. He's like, "You want to make make a quick a hundred bucks?" I was like, "Yeah, fuck yeah!" But we have to go there at like three o'clock in the morning. I was like, "What? What kind of shit is this?" Okay. You know, and then we end up. He's like, "No, there's gonna be some people there. We just have to wait. We just have to wait. You get up there at three, and you wait." I'm like, Where? Capitol Hill? Capitol Hill? What the fuck? Are we dealing drugs on Capitol Hill? What the fuck is going on? And like, we go there, and it's just a line, a line of dudes. Some of them are homeless. Some of them are like, you know. And we're waiting. And then apparently, the lobbyists, they they want to reserve the seat in Senate. So you're actually waiting for you're sitting on their seat, and they don't want to show up early, so they show up at seven. No. Yes, and they you were pay like a you. Bench warmer for bench warmer for, for lobbyists. Lobbyist. No. And then you realize, like, how much money... They're making, like, 100 Gs a year, man. Yeah, yeah, sure. But they don't want to get up at, like, fucking 5 or 6 when they have to get up. <laughs> you just have... And they have a homeless dude or someone who's sitting in their place, and no. they're, like, 100 Gs, chop. Dude, no. Yes. What? Yes. 
And where do you, you sit? Have, you, you sit outside. There's like a whole line of things. And you sit by order. They make you sit there. And you just wait for them to show up. When they show up, you get paid. Yeah, man. Like, there's so there many chairs, things. There's chairs, though. There's actually there's cha chairs. There's chairs outside so of the courtroom. The the, uh, outside of the, the place. Wow. So, yeah. And people are sleeping in front of the building, man. Shit. Like I've seen shit in DC that you wouldn't believe, man. Like, and and then you, after a while, you realize, is this the system or is this like a really fucked up version of the system? You know? Yeah. Because you realize that like, there's so much money going around, but it's really about like kind of networking and how you position yourself. Also, and you're literally moral, drinking with each other, probably. Yeah, uh, yeah, like and going you, out and, and your moral values yeah. of of like actually trying to help certain types of people yeah. is completely f distorted mm. you know and I was like I don't know if I want to be a part of the city like I liked I, I liked DC I like the free museums I like the Smithsonian well, you know they like all this museums. shit yeah like most of them are like really you know yeah like it's a fantastic place but it's Seriously? when you realize you know I think w what fucked me up is like this you know, like one time I'm driving down Constitution and uh, it's winter time. Like, you know, it doesn't happen. Like, there's a lot of snow in DC, but sometimes it happens. And these guys, homeless guys, are sleeping on the air vents, you know, from the museums that, you know, that yeah, yeah. blow hot air. They sleep there. But sometimes they shut off these fucking things. And yeah. these fuckers are frozen, man. Like these dudes are like, and like the, the ambulance is there, like picking up the, like a frozen dude, just like carrying it in. And I'm like, this is not right. <laughs> like, just fucking let them like sleep in a fucking. They have homeless shelters, you know. Yeah. But it, they don't want to stay there, and then it's like a complete, I don't know, social responsibility is really messed up. You know, like the amount of money in those institutions is just yeah. insane. Yeah. You know, and then you say there's. And you also, know, literally homeless people like, sitting on the vents. Yeah. Like from the warmth that comes from heating paintings. Man. Goodbye. Until next time.